Okay, uh, we thought we'd make a quick video here on um, not necessarily creating documentation in Word, but working with things on Windows and using a word processor, or in this case, Microsoft Word, uh, to gather all that stuff together. So uh, we have Word up here in the window. We're going to work with some other uh, programs and applications also, but we have Word up here. And one of the first things I find very useful is to uh, put something at the top of the page and have it appear on each page. So if you do insert, um, you can do all kinds of stuff here, uh, but we're gonna add a header and it's gonna be blank and it's gonna be centered. And I'm gonna type in here, uh, simplify using Boolean lab right and I guess we should probably type right if we're gonna give this and I can make this uh, bold and um, I can center it and that's probably you know what I like so uh, when I start a lab this is what I start right away and when you're in the header uh, you have to double click down in the text to get out of there uh, the other thing I do right away is put a page numbers on there because a lot of times labs run more than a page. So I go to insert and you'll see there's a page number here. I pull that down, say bottom of the page. I pick the one that says center and it's there. And um, I'm fooling around with this file and I already saved it, but I'm getting a little older. It's harder to find things when I save them. So uh, when I'm in the footer, I always hit an enter. I'm centered here and I put the name of the file in here so that when I go and hunt for it later, it's it's not crazy. You know, I think, well, I could have used that file and it's there. So if you go to document in info from the header and footer section and you say file path and then it starts the file path, you can see this ends up on your page now. Uh, I'm going to double click to come back in the text. I'm going to hit enter a couple times. I could hit, um, I could also uh, force a page in there, but I didn't do it. But uh, just to show you now, when I drag down through here, uh, page number is there. Each page has that uh, name of the document. And at the top, it has this. So great for uh, adding documentation. And this is the way I start. You, you could save this file as like a template and say file open and say file save let's give it a new name and it would start your labs all the time it's not enough work for me to do that i just open up a blank document and insert these things in uh, right away the other thing that uh, we want to do a lot of times is put uh, screen captures or things that we're working on in other programs um, it's hard to deal with pictures, but if we put them in a Word document, they work pretty well. So I'm going to sit right here. I'm going to go to um, Schematic that I have open in KiCad. And I'm, I'm happy with this schematic, and I want to save um, just a copy of the schematic. have multiple uh, schematics in this file, but I just want this one. So there's a real nice feature within Windows. There's another program called TechSmith Snagit, which is the Cadillac of screen capture programs. But within Windows, uh, if you hold down the Windows key, hold down the Shift key, and hold down the S key, it moves into uh, Snip and Sketch mode. And you see the screen grade, and all I'm going to do is left drag over the area of the screen that I want to save. And when I leave go of that, uh, normally a little screen would come up in the bottom right hand corner be because I'm screen capturing, we're not going to get to see that. Uh, but it copied it into the Windows clipboard for me. So now I'm going to click back in uh, Word. When I get in Word, I'm just going to do a control, control V, which is paste. And you'll notice it puts uh, the screen capture in there. And that's pretty cool stuff. It's an easy way to document it. Also note that uh, when I try and move this around, it sort of seems jammed and I can't put it somewhere. And uh, also, um, I'm gonna put some text in here uh, just to sort of show you some of the things that you might run into. But 
Uh, you can't move it around, and I'd like to reposition it. So I learned that if you right-click on here and go to Wrap Text and choose Tight for a picture, then you can move this thing everywhere. Uh, it, it's not a substitute for understanding all how you can put pictures in and move it, but um, I found out every picture I put in, every screen capture I put in, I do that right away and it lets me move pictures wherever I want. Now, um, you might want to do that with some other application too. Uh, I'm not a big fan of the, um, I'm going to get the schematic capture out of the way, but I'm not a big fan of using the uh, tables in Word. And here you see I have a uh, spreadsheet that I have already open and I always keep my um, blank truth tables in here because I can fill them out pretty easily I can uh, I can do whatever I want real fast uh, it saves me a lot of time and do it and I think I've showed a couple people how to make these let me show you very quickly uh, if I come over here and type a and I type B and I type L and I want to make a truth table that has two variables right so it's gonna be what zero zero uh, zero one I'm not one to do much formatting until I'm done because uh, I think it gets in my way I can concentrate on the content I want there so uh, I want everything centered so I select all this center I hit both the centers here. Uh, also, too, I probably want this bold. And now it's getting closer to look like a truth table, but I want those lines in there. So if I select this and I go up here and hit this little window and do more borders, uh, up comes this window and it lets me choose the borders for that block that I have selected. So the only border I want is a pretty dark line at the top section of that. I select that, hit OK, and if I click off of there, I've realized I did the wrong thing. So I'm going to undo that, select it again, and go back to um, more borders as the default. And I wanted it on the bottom and not the top. So I click what line I want, and then I click the position I want. If I click over here, it would put one here, but I don't want that at this point. I click OK, and it goes where I want. Now, on a truth table also, I want these lines that go uh, vertical also. So I'm going to select this block, because I have a little bit of experience with this. I'm going to uh, choose the more borders again. And on the left side, I know I want, of that block, I know I want a dark line. On the right side, I know that's bordering the output, so I select the double line, and I click over here, and when I click OK, uh, it finishes up my truth table. So that's how you build a truth table. Um, you can do that pretty easily. It's pretty nice. So what I really wanted to show you is once we get our truth table set up and filled in, we can come in here and screen capture it just like we did before. So Windows, hold down, Shift, hold down, S, hold down. I get that same screen. I come in here and it goes to um, the clipboard like it did before. So I'm going to bring my cursor back up here. I'm going to go into the Word document again. I'm going to scroll down a little bit. And I'm going to hit Control V again, and it's going to take this from the clipboard. Once again, I can't move it around. I use my wrap text trick. I go tight, and I can move it wherever I want. Now, this is a picture. This isn't the uh, me putting a section of the Excel sheet in here, so I can't edit it. And you can put it in and edit it if you want. Um, I'm not going to show you everything un until I'm here. So. Uh, we showed you headers in Word. Uh, we showed you footers in Word. They go on each page. That's very convenient. We showed you that you can put text in here and mix these screen captures from there. We talked about the Snip and Sketch tool in Windows, and it does a lot more stuff. And you can add those things as you want to go along. But those are some of the hints and tricks and ways to do it. 
So if you ever want to send something to me, you probably don't want to send pictures. You want to take your pictures and insert them into a Word file and then send that Word file to me. Or um, some people too, if I do file, save on a Word file, that'll save it. But if I want to create a PDF file, I can do file, save as, and you'll notice it has the same name and I can just pull down here and select PDF and click save and that saves it in PDF format. And it opens a copy in, of the PDF document that I created. Remember, you're not gonna be able to, the purpose of this one is to be able to send it and have people open it. Um, but those are some of the things I think are helpful. Um, hopefully they're helpful to you.